Good morning, everybody. I'm Ed Parco here with Mike Kelly, and we're Real Estate Jerky Daily, and it's a Thursday, and we got here almost on time. Great yes. job, Mike. Thank you. Like we were talking beforehand, I would have went to Rotary, but I saw the presentation early, so I saved myself over a half hour. <laughs> Yeah, it came in the email. It did. And you get the emails, but I don't. Well, that's that's, that's a that's a Ralphie thing. I've been saying, telling like I don't know. This is like into the second quarter now. Yeah. And so Ralphie's going to call me later today. We're going to discuss stuff. So I got to remember yeah, a note for myself. Yeah. Add me to the damn email and take that off. Yeah. Unless you get more pre presentation sent, then I'll just stay on there <laughs> so I don't have to show up. So you don't have rotary. to show up. You can work out instead. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it's, you know, wife's gone. So last night I was fucking, I was exhausted, man. After the end of the day, not that cause she's gone, but right. just, it's been busy. You're, I'm, you're busier as a result. I'm ex well, no, I'm just busier in general mm -hmm. and it, people are and bigger numbers and people wanting to write offers now, finally, because of the fact what we've been talking about, hurry yeah. up and get in before you get a lot of competition. And I have one that writing it today and they have the property in front of this house and that house has an easement through their property, which doesn't have a house on it. And so they're like, this would be perfect for us. And we have 13 acres in front of us. Hmm. Yeah. Figure that one out. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and that, it's a vet on top of did it. Did you see the look on my face? Nope. <laughs> no, it was like this. Hmm. Hmm. Sucking. Yeah. That's, that's a great idea. All right. So market today. Uh, tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh, no, I was reading. Okay. Reading something over here. FEMA. No, not. Yeah, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, basically, let's go to uh, initial jobless claims, which measures individuals filing for unemployment benefits for the first time, was reported at 225,000 claims for last week. This represents an increase of 6,000 from the previous week, revised figures of 219,000, and was more than expectations of 220,000. Mm. Continuing claims actually decreased to 1.6. Eight to six million from the previous week of one point eight to seven million, oh. and that's probably because they couldn't get in to put claim their money because they're flooded out. Oh, <laughs> there's a lot of post offices yeah. and a lot of other buildings that, are that gone. You, yeah, you can't get into. They're gone. Yeah, uh, Dave Albin's uh, sent some pictures because he's like, "Hey, where did you guys send our check for the thing? Because if it is, it's gone. We need another one." And they show the post office. It's out. It's destroyed inside and everything else. Oh, geez. Some water and everything. That's All no right. bueno. No good. Uh, so for people who didn't know Spanish, uh, challenge your job cut report, which counts corporate layoffs based on mass layoff data from state departments of labor. Again, could be skewed because of what happened. Yeah. Uh, showed that there were 72,821 layoffs in September, fewer than the 75,891 cuts in the previous month, okay. but it's still 53% higher compared to a year ago. Yep. Yeah. ISM service index. That's the, which measures the health of the service industry. Service and manufacturing, or is it just service? I, you know, I think last time they put the wrong term in. It should have been manufacturing instead of okay. service. Gotcha. Uh, it, it increased to fi fifty-four point nine in September, which is well above expectations of fifty-one point seven, and last month's revised level of fifty-one point five. But I guarantee you that there's going to be some numbers skewed coming up next month because of the strike. Yes, yes, and, and yes. now they said, okay, if you divert the cargo containers to a different port. Those ports are saying we're not going to unload it. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're in cooperation with the strike. Well, that, that and you heard, I think that's more collusion in with the strike. Yeah. Cause that's what you guys got in trouble for. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be the same thing? You would think. Yeah. Yeah. But the attorney hasn't caught on to that yet. Take, give him seven years. Um, and Boeing, they're on strike as well. Oh, well, they don't the want to put the bolts in those doors. No, they like the doors <laughs> flying off. It's just easier to open them. Yeah. Don't make me do my job correctly. All right. So, you know, this huge hurricane floods all this stuff they're going where's fema where's fema why aren't we here and they're oh fema's down on the ground we haven't seen fema for at all yeah. and there's i mean it is horrible well they just came out last night kind of sneakily said this and people didn't hear it right uh, fema we don't have any money yeah. uh because we spent 650 million on what they call migrants i call illegals right um and it's like okay so you spent that money knowing that Congress would now actually have to refill that coffer because of the, uh, and now be under a national hazard right. or a national disaster. But the problem really is, is you shouldn't have taken that money out in the first place because now the people who really need it and pay taxes can't get it. Right. But you gave it to people who don't deserve it 
who don't work here, who don't do this, and they just came across our border. Yeah, I'm kind of pissed about this. Yeah. Because but Ed, these people need help. They need water. They haven't had water in four days. Ed, Ed. What? Kamala last night said they're going to give $759 to each family. Wow. So don't worry. Yeah, but how are they going to spend it? When they can't go to the, there's no stores. I know. There's no none of this stuff. Send water that what they should be getting the National Guard involved yet three days ago. They should have had them ready to go. Well, we thought it was gonna be in Florida, so uh, we didn't do anything for everybody else. You still plan better than the way you freaking plan. This is right. ridiculous the it way is. these people plan. It is. And if and if you think this administration is gonna do well um f- further on in, into uh the world's um, upcoming history, you're sadly mistaken. So correct. There. Correct. No, I was reading something because they reached out saying, "Hey, your clients haven't sent in money." And they said we sent it in on Monday. Hmm. Hmm. From Florida? <laughs> no, no. This is a wire, so yeah. Oh. Would, Federal Reserve probably it's like, you know, we need this money to go take care of this. Um, also, did you hear that the IRS is not waiving penalties and interest for the people who were in prison in Russia? What? Yeah, the people who were captured and, you know, where we did the swap and got our people back out, they still have to pay taxes and, pen- I mean, penalties and all the in- interest, be- oh, even Jesus. though they were in prison over there. Oh, sorry, we can't waive that. Oh, yes, you can. Yeah, you can. If you can waive student loan debt, you can waive those penalties because yeah. that is a choice. There's no thing. By law, can't do this. Well, that's BS. Yeah. Freaking waive those, except for that one lady. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's got enough money. Yeah, true. All right. Uh, that's really all I have today. And I know it's all kind of on a soapbox, but this FEMA thing is really irritating me because they spend money that's for other causes and then they come back and say, we don't have that money. So sorry. It's the same thing that's happening in California. Um, they're passing these stupid laws that you can't, you know, vote certain ways or do certain things. And it's ridiculous. This Newsom guy. Yeah. 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 Yep. 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 Uh, was it 600? And... I saw something this morning that he just, is passing, but yeah. now I, I digress. I can't remember. Well, I'll have to look. Hope it's a it. kidney stone. It would be nice, <laughs> <laughs> and that it's a large one. Yeah, extremely large. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, no, I can't mama. remember what the hell he. It was. It was another. Are you serious? Yeah, well, waste of money. Yeah, it's all the waste of money, and and then when we need the money for us, it's not there, and yeah. I, it's not there for veterans. It's not for there for people who need it. Um, they this all this money we spent on that high speed rail, they could have done something for the fair plan. See, I see. They could have put a to where yeah. that's cheap well, because, and really and and maybe fair. Rewrite it and well, make it fair, dude. Somebody else is just buying a house right now. It's five grand a year plus their other policy. Yeah. And that's like, okay, it doesn't need, they're like, well, do I really need this? Well, you need it when your house burns down, but you don't need it until then. Yeah. True, <laughs> so, true, true. Yeah. Well, self-insure, that's uh, a little expensive. <laughs> Five grand a year is not a bad thing to rebuild a 500, because remember your land's probably a hundred thousand. And yeah. so the rest of, if it's a $700,000 house, that's 600,000 is the actual cost to rebuild that thing. You want to have that insurance in place. And that's the sad thing, but we're still cheaper than Florida. <laughs> so. Yeah, but the way things are moving, yeah. No, it's interesting to see you get up on that soapbox. It takes passion to be able to get a point across sometimes. And when you're passionate about a a lot of the the choices that you see happen in the state and uh, at the federal level, you start to really look at it and go, this is nothing but a big money laundering scheme. Few people are getting wealthy on it. The, The American people are being left out. California uh, workers are being left out, but somebody's making some money and it's a, probably a handful of people. Yeah, well, it's always that way. I mean, yeah. and this government needs to be changed and it needs, if we don't get it changed this time around, this is what we talked about last time when the election was happening. I said, if we don't get this wave changing in California, we're, it's going to just get really bad. Yeah. Well, it did and it still is. And if we and don't get worse, we, if you don't slap somebody in the face occasionally to say you're doing some stupid things and we don't like it, really don't like it. They're going to keep doing it and get worse because right. you don't know, telling them differently. And that's well, what's happening right yeah. now. Look what I got away with. Let me try something else. Anyway, um, it's important to vote. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if you saw this, but FHA is, has a huge amount of uh, loans that are 90 days past due. Hmm. 
which is unusual. Yeah, it just and recently, I mean, it just changed in the last two months. Yeah, it oh. went from like one percent to like ten percent to nineteen percent of these that are third. You know, of the ninety days past due. So, yeah. Well, people with children are probably choosing to buy groceries instead of making their mortgage payment. Yeah. Well, don't pay your credit cards. Pay your mortgage. Yeah, that's the best thing to do. Yeah, because you the credit cards aren't going to take your house, and you can't. You know. Yeah. And the FHA, they have to work with you for up to 12 months and put that into a separate debt, partial claim. Remember that they have to do a partial claim, keep you in there. So you got 12 months Yeah, and they can put 12 months of those payments in a partial claim. Don't let them talk you into a modification. Tell them to do a partial claim and fix it. There we go. There's there we go. Last bit. There's the bit. All right, everybody, make it a great day. Thanks for being here. We'll be back tomorrow. And tomorrow is the biggest jobs report of the week, BLS. Yay. That is the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Whatever the number comes out, we'll just wait for six months to have them revise it down to where it's not really that high. Okay, that was <laughs> and I Because that is a government number, which yeah. has been wrong for, for the, the last, last six year. Or year yeah. yeah last year yeah every Oops, year it was over. off by almost seventy thousand jobs every month yeah so oh, uh, we we missed it by a, a million we missed it by that much yeah. yeah all right bye kids all right make it a great day thanks for being here bye, bye.